Hello, this is Julie. Welcome into the Thrifty Paper Garden. Well, it's week three, and on the far right you see the seeds that I just planted. And you'll see some empty spots in the other two trays of week one and two. I took those and moved them over here, which is in the open air. Here's my week two planting, and here's my week two transfer. And I just transfer over onto this card where I'm placing them in the tray, and the trays are labeled with a letter and then the number one through six for each of the rows. And you can see in the tray on the far left, my week one seeds, there are rows that none have germinated. And I want to talk about seed life. I usually keep my seeds about two, some three years, and some germinate just fine. Others are not so good at germinating after the first year. Eggplant is particularly picky, but I try to use them at least two years, and if I don't get any germination or very little germination, I go out and buy a new seed packet and I usually have enough time to get them in the soil and get them germinated. And in the middle row that was planted just last week, I had a few of the tomatoes that germinated within three days. The little incubator greenhouse that I have them in really is good for germ germination. Also I want to talk about this fan that I have here. Once the seedlings are in the open air environment, they're very tender and growing, trying hard to grow. And there are a lot of bugs and critters that would just love to be sucking on their fresh, tender stems. There's things such as aphids, spider mites, white flies. And with seedlings, they are so tender that you really can't treat them with anything. I usually try to pick off whatever has gotten on them. I do overwinter quite a few plants and I have some house plants and they can harbor some of these critters. And once they see the seedlings, they're just all over it. So I have found that when I use the fan and I blow, have it go back and forth, just a real gentle wind going back and forth on the seedlings, that's enough that most critters can't get attached to the seedlings. And also a fan is good for teaching the seedlings to grow strong stems. In this wonderful environment that I have them in, they're pampered and they get all the sun and water that they need. They really don't have to work very hard, but once you put them outside, even to harden them off, all of a sudden there's scorching sun and wind and they don't always get all the moisture that they want and they can oftentimes die because of the harsh conditions. But when I've used the fan on them, they're used to the wind and the movement and they're better for having had a little turbulence in their life. And also you can see I'm moving a little closer. The leaves on these plants. Now these are not what you call the true leaves. Usually the true leaves will come up between the two leaves that are on the seedlings right now. And once you start seeing those true leaves, the leaves that are on them right now will fall off. And that's a good time to transplant. So that's all for week three. And again, I've just brought up some general topics and I encourage you to read more about it so that you're properly prepared to grow healthy plants that will produce fresh, healthy fruits. Talk to you later. Bye.